Last night, the Vita hacking scene hit a milestone. There are now 44 Android games that have been ported to Vita and are playable on a hacked Vita. This is just awesome. There are some great mobile games out there and being able to play them on a handheld with physical controls is just so good. I'll talk about it more later, but third person action games like Mass Effect Infiltrator or Dead Space play so much better with controls than touchscreen. I've put a link to Vita database where you can grab the VPK files and see instructions to installing the games. So check the description for that. Some require different approaches, so pay attention to how to install them. I think this is just awesome, and it shows how capable the Vita is. I wish Electronic Arts or those other publishers had ported their mobile games to Vita themselves. The system can handle it, and if guys sitting at home can do this in their spare time, then Sony should have been there doing the same and supporting developers to bring those games to Vita. Anyway, with so many Android games now playable on Vita, here at the tent I recommend checking out in no particular order, although my favourite game in the list is the last one. Just a quick shout out to all the developers that worked on bringing these games to Vita. Your efforts are really appreciated and are helping to keep the Vita alive and relevant, so thank you. First up, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. One of the wishes I had for Vita was there would be a PS2 port machine, with all the big PS2 games available for it. We had some, but I think the PS2 GTA games would have been system sellers. San Andreas on Android can now be played on Vita. It's the full PS2 game, which is really impressive. Just some real fly girl, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Friend, you give off a positive energy. Now over there In similar vein, the next game is also a PS2 game ported to Android, Bully. I hadn't played it till it came to Vita, and it's a really interesting game even decades after its original release. Don't get fresh with your homies. And last but not least, the jock. You like to torment weak kids, and you've got the personality of a jock strap. Galaxy on Fire 2. I really like aerial dogfighting games, and in space it's even better. I played this years ago on my iPhone and I really enjoyed it. It's awesome that it can now be played again on Vita. World of Goo. World of Goo is a puzzle game where you move around these little blobs and form chains to have them escape the level. I love the graphical style and it's really addictive trying to figure out the best way through each stage. Battlefield Bad Company 2 The Vita needed more first-person shooters, and it's really cool that this is now playable on the system. The controls feel a bit loose, but otherwise it's a decent port. Dead Space Mobile I remember playing this back in 2011 on my iPhone and loved it. It's a proper Dead Space game on a mobile. I highly recommend grabbing this one. Mass Effect Infiltrator. This game came out around the same time as Mass Effect 3 and was a really good third-person cover shooter. I've only played it a bit on Vita, but it plays much better with physical controls than when I played it on my iPhone years ago. Anomaly Series So there are four Anomaly games that can be played on Vita. This series took the tower defense genre and turned it around so it's a tower offense game. You take your troops to a certain location on the map, destroying enemy turrets along the way. I really enjoyed these games. I tried out Korea on Vita and it plays perfectly. Final Fantasy IV 3D So, there are a lot of people that don't like this 3D version of Final Fantasy IV, which has spoken dialogue and these cute chibi characters. I really like it. It was on the DS first and then ported to mobile. I also thought the Final Fantasy III 3D version is really good, and that's also on Vita. Lastly, this War of Mine. This game is phenomenal. It's a survival sim. You control a group of people in a house in the middle of a war zone. You have to use your resources effectively to keep them alive, and at night you'll go out and search other buildings for resources. What makes this game stand out is the moral choices you make and the impact of them. 
When you go out scavenging at night, it can turn into a stealth game to avoid other scavengers with guns. Or you could end up stealing from an elderly person that you later find out has died because you took their food. It's a really good game and really impactful. I love that we're seeing all these games playable on Vita. And we'll likely have more on the way. So again, thank you to all those developers that are working on these games. So guys, which Android games have you played on Vita? And which ones do you recommend? Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.